Hello. Hope you're good. <laughs> I've been wandering around in here for a while now. Poncho's doing the trick. I'm looking for a place to set up and just do a little look at me uh, honey stove and the extension to it. Sorry about that. But this place where I've come is complete Bramble City. They're everywhere. So I'm going to have to head down to the edge again and along. But hopefully it won't be too long before I get there. Not that I'm in any rush as such, but I am keen to get set up and just get a cup of, a cup of, a cup of tea on, brew, and show you my uh, honey stove and the expansion kit. So I've been thinking of getting a uh, little fire, fire pit thing. And I was humming and hiring. So I just got the extension to my honey stove, which I like. It's only still only going to be a little top, little fire, but it's going to be bigger than what it is just with the honey stove. And I'm hoping to test it today, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to because obviously it's drenched. But we'll see. We'll see. Looks like I can't even get out down there. I will. Where there's a will, there's a way. Anyway, I'll catch you in a little while. Look, just brambles everywhere. Everywhere. Anyway. Gotta make hay. While it rains. Get set up. <coughs> uh, changed my mind on the shelter. Just went with the Addy Rondack, which is nice. I'm going to get a brew on using the configuration of the honey stove. the old brew on should have probably put the transu in there one level up but I ain't in a rush now the thing with the honey stove it's adaptable it's very lightweight well I ain't gonna lie it is a bit of a faff to put together and it's different yeah it is a little bit you do get used to it bit but it can be a bit frustrating especially when you've got cold hands and stuff and your eyes ain't the best it's got a ridge line toggle press it not two in from the corner same that side just enough room here to get that same thing, the corner's tucked under there, and then there's one, two tabs to there. There are instructional videos about if you want to do it. It's a good little shelter.
don't know if I'm going to be able to do what I wanted to do. I wanted to show you the honey stove and then the hive stove, which is an expansion, which comes like that. I was hoping to set this up and start a little twig fire. I might still, I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a go. But... As you can probably tell, everything's going to be soaked. But what you get with the hive extension, you just get the basically the capability to make a bigger little fire pit, twig stove. So I don't know if I can do a decent comparison. You get that little grill, get two extra panels, and you get the base, which is bigger and the one from the actual honey stove. There's the honey stove one. But I was looking into getting a slightly, to have a slightly bigger fire, because I love the honey stove for that. But with a slightly bigger one, I can like keep it going easier, put slightly thicker bits of wood and that in there. That's the theory anyway. And I wanted to test it out today and do a tiny bit of cooking. Cooking, using the word loosely, just do a sausage, sausage sandwich and that. So I'm probably not going to make the honey stove. I'll go straight to the high stove with the extension. And hopefully, I'm going to have to hunt around for some wood in a minute. So I just had a deer. It was fairly close. I don't know if you've ever come close to them when you've been camping or just out. You can hear their foot, their the hoof, their steps. They sometimes stomp about the place a little. I hope it was a deer. <laughs> it's right up here. Yeah, I think I'm going to have a job finding processing wood to everything is proper drenched. But I'll have a go. Strip the outer let this bit off of it and hopefully we'll be able to get it going but you know not if we'll get it wet I've just found it should help the cause obviously I'm gonna strip them down a bit some fat wood, I don't know if you can see, it's lovely, it feels all sort of smooth and waxy on there. When I strip it down and that and get it, that should help our cause anyway. I only want enough to get four sausages done, but I just want to show you the, well, I want to test it myself, but when I'm out here, I'll show what the old uh, hive stove is. Cotton wool soaked in Vaseline. Fingers crossed. All the small twigs are absolutely drenched. I don't know if this is going to work. I should probably split them down more. Stick one more on, that's all I've got. Half of one. I'm gonna 
have to go back and make some feather sticks. Which is probably what I should have done, but... Now we're cooking with wood. Be softer. Not the old red sauce on. I should probably put it on the bread there. I'm not the old red sauce on bacon and a brown sauce and sausage well I'm not overly bothered I'll eat anything me well most things Well, <laughs> simple, yet effective. We are spread brown sauce, Cumberland sausage.
there. Thank you for watching. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to turn out. I don't know. It's a bit of a place for the filming due to the rain. Because obviously the priority is getting. Oh, I'm not that polished at the filming. Hopefully, but the priority is getting comfortable and dry and keeping warm. It was nice to get out. It's chilly now. Rain. if that was a buzzard or a kite anyway yeah the rain has stopped now but it is chilly the wind has picked up a little not massively but there's a bite to it do you know what i mean it's like a... hoping to get out on an overnight and next week i'm not sure might be in the lavu i don't know depends depends how far need to scout out some places where I don't need to walk too far and if it's going to be hammering with rain I'm not keen not for the fact that I'm worried about it being waterproof so I always bring a bivvy or put a tarp over it it's just carrying it and it's wet anyway I'll shut up now it's gorgeous take care y'all Them bones, them bones, them dry bones. Except they're wet. 